grumpy old fart here. Um, I'm, I'm, I want to talk about an unexplained object, uh, an artifact, a book, a tome, a codex. I don't know what the hell you want to call it. It's uh, the Voynich Manuscript. And for those of you who don't know about it or never heard of it, the Voynich Manuscript is one of history's great unsolved mysteries. Nobody knows who wrote it or why. Uh, it has no official title. We call it the Voynich Manuscript because there was a Polish book dealer named Wilfred Voynich who purchased the book back in 1912. And, and he had it for a long time, and then it's now sitting at uh, Yale University. Uh, and it's been there since 1969. <clears throat> now, nobody can read this book. It is written in some kind of a code or a language that nobody nobody can decipher and it has yet to be broken this this it's it's just a weird freaking book this book is estimated to be between four and eight centuries old it has 240 pages containing the strangest text it also contains hand-drawn illustrations of real and imagined plants different plants that never existed on this planet at least uh, astrological signs and symbols astronomical diagrams suns and moons with faces castles <laughs> and bathing women uh, considering the time that this was put out that was probably as about as close to pornography as you could get um, there's lots of theories about this book uh, many many learned people, many noted cryptographers, people who work with codes, including government people, have tried to break the code in this book and they can't do it. It's, it's literally unreadable, as far as we know. Uh, the theories about this are that Voynich wrote it himself as a money-making hoax. And, and I suppose that's a possibility. I don't know. Um... Another theory is that a medieval con man wrote it as a hoax. You know, it's a magic book. You know, you can read it, you know, but you gotta pay to read it. You know, you gotta pay to try. You know, that kind of thing. Um, it's also theorized that this is written in a cipher, a code to hide its meaning, which is what most people believe, I think. Uh, which would make it. Now, keep in mind, back then, uh, a lot of medicinal and pharmaceutical texts were written in a code because a lot of it kind of clashed with the religious the religious beliefs of the time. So they might have been getting flack from religious leaders. You see what I'm saying? Uh, a lot of people believe it may be an alchemical text because it deals with plants and formulas and things like that. Some people have theorized it might be a magical text, a wizard's book or a witch's cookbook or spell book or whatever. Who knows? Honestly, we don't know. One of the one of the funniest theories that I came across was people think that there are people out there who are proposing the theory that an alien was being held captive in a monastery and wrote this book in his native language and, you know, drew the pictures and stuff. Um, and, and there's lots of other theories out there. Just that alien one kind of, I, I thought that was kind of funny, so I, I included it because... What the hell? Lord knows. We don't know what it is. What the hell? It might have been. Uh, but yeah, if you if you uh, if this strikes your fancy, do some research on the Voynich manuscript. It is a weird weird book. I saw some of the text, and it doesn't. It's definitely not English. It doesn't look like any kind of lettering that I'm I'm familiar with. Uh, however, as I understand it, some of the diagrams have writing on it that people can read. Some of it may be astrological signs. I don't know. Anyway, but that is an unexplained tome, the Voynich Manuscript. You folks have a good day. God bless one and all.